speaking after Meg declared herself to be the reborn Diana, Kristen Stewart exposed Meg's delusion. Meghan has received a lot of comparisons to Diana, and it's safe to say that she imitated Prince Harry's bland mother, according to a source on Templar Minute. After Princess Diana's portrayal, a well-known makeup artist said that when Kristen Stewart was nominated for an Oscar for Spencer, Meghan sent her a bouquet of Lily's English roses, borgage, and peonies with a card that said she will always be grateful for the role Kristen's candor about her mother-in-law, Princess Diana, and how she accurately illuminates her. Meghan lives behind the palace walls, feeling as though she's invading people's accomplishments and private spaces when it's not quiet for trying to seize Christian's success. She reminds me of the goodie bags that businesses send to Oscar candidates and winners in the hopes of gaining publicity or brand exposure from the celebrities who utilize them. Meghan is marketing her business by emailing this to the firms that provide goodie bags, even though she is not friends or associates of Kristen's. Do you think the second read, which stated she also heard this from a Hollywood executive, is credible? This aligns with the numerous stories stating that Meghan saw herself as Diana right from the beginning, and this is just one of the ways she was manipulating others. Herring, she's insane, both his mother and wife were victims of the palace. Her time inside the royal gates may have only been 15 or 18 months long if this is accurate. Her reality was revealed in far larger doses, and her actions were completely out of character. Meghan has no direct relationship with Diana and has never met her. Instead, Meghan is connected to Diana indirectly through Harry. If only you could understand the message like Kristen Stewart did. After reading it, Meghan became a victim since she was able to turn the congrats note back to herself. Most likely, Miss Stewart disregarded her gratitude. The fact that Kristen was talking shit about Meghan and either found it funny or totally nuts indicates that Miss Stewart wasn't an archetype, so the ignoring goes on. The fact that no one likes Madam will never sink in. Although Meghan's life was beyond the walls of the palace and not at all like Diana's, she was nevertheless regarded by the public and had two children of her own, Bonnie. While Meghan doesn't appreciate the Queen or the monarchy, she didn't. Meghan makes everything about herself, but why? She is trying to convince herself that she is Diana 2.0. She finds it hard to imagine she is similar to Diana in any way. Upon meeting Harry, Meghan was older than Diana was at the time of her death. Diana married a seasoned mattress actress and boat girl named Meghan, who had a lot of miles on her gearbox. Diana was a bashful, naive, barely grown up. She acknowledged that she didn't know a lot about Diana's life in her inner engagement interview. After the wedding, she added, she lost contact with Henry. While attending an occasion, she confided in a visitor that she felt terrible for Harry since he was so young and had to walk behind his mother's coffin. The guests brought up her engagement interview, during which she said she didn't know Harry and hadn't seen him pass by his mother's coffin. She disregarded the groom and became sour. A liar must possess an excellent memory. In order to avoid the performers who deceived his mother and Pablo Larin's negative mark on the late princess's life, the Duke of Sussex is allegedly considering skipping the Oscars before then. Sussex is expected to attend the Oscars and has been invited to all the major functions. However, given Stuart is vying for a Best Actress award, they will almost definitely cross paths. According to the source, there seems to be disagreement in the Sussex home about whether or not to accept the honour. Though Harry isn't one to put on a front and his feelings are still raw, Markle assumes they can either ignore Kristen or be momentarily kind. Meghan truly wants to return to the Hollywood scene, but the insider said he's considering not attending the Oscars. <laughs>